Okay, so we're live for another AGM Ninja Workshop. Hey. So, so just before you guys started coming in, uh, an executive decision was made, and uh, these workshops are no longer going to be free. <laughs> Carly is going to be passing over a credit card machine, and you guys have to pay $1,000 per person to be here. Uh, that's to cover the cost of uh, Panda Express tonight and uh, to cover the staff. I'm just kidding, relax. <laughs> We're not changing that, guys. It's just, um, I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm glad that you guys are making it here live with us. Uh, it shows that you really want to succeed in this environment. There's a lot of information in this world that uh, is going to determine whether you succeed or not. The ones that win in the game of business and the wor world of social media are going to be the ones that are acquiring the most knowledge and the ones that put the most implementation of that knowledge in place. So uh, it's great that you get to have you guys here. Today we have a really, really amazing workshop. I have been putting a lot of energy uh, into putting this training together, making it uh, simple enough to show you how to succeed in this particular environment. Last year, AGM, as you guys, uh, some of you guys are repeat faces here. Raise your hand if you've been to a workshop here before. Great. Um, raise your hand if this is your first workshop. Okay, good. So we are also streaming live on Facebook and YouTube right now, so thank you guys for the ones that are um, tuning in remotely, wherever you may be tuning in from. Comment and let me know where you're coming in from. We can get your questions over here, and um, we'd love to also make you a part of our workshop over here. But AGM Marketing is an Inc. 5000 company. We were the 26th fastest growing marketing company in America in 2021. We are 428th fastest overall company. If you guys uh, don't know, there's millions of companies in the United States. Most of them actually don't make it, but we are in the top 500 companies, fastest growing companies, and it's because we have a lot of intellectual property and a lot of knowledge, and we also put a lot of energy behind that knowledge, and we get to accomplish a lot of success for ourselves and for our clients. Just last year, we generated over $100 million in revenue. Pretty incredible to say that. It's a fact from the brands that we manage over here at AGM with the strategy that I'm going to cover with you guys today. So if you guys are serious about growing your business, taking that to the next level, if you really want to either scale your business to the next level or you want to kick it off uh, into the stratosphere from start, you want to pay attention, take your notes, and hopefully it's going to be an incredible workshop today full of a ton of value for all of you guys that are here today with us. Uh, I got Coach Orhe, Chief Marketing Officer, here with me. He's going to be also a part of this workshop today. But um, I got a roadmap for you guys uh, to take a part of in this particular environment. So raise your hand if you want to grow your business in 2022. OK, great. So you came to the right place. That's really, really good. Uh, so what do you guys say we get started? Yeah. Yeah. We got some good food in our, in our, in our system. Uh, I don't know if you can call Panda Express good food, but <laughs> it's, should we say good trash food? <laughs> All right. Good, delicious, quality, trash food. Doesn't really, doesn't, it's not supposed to put those words together, right? But uh, again, well, what's that? They're not your client. They're, they're not, that's right, it's not. Not natural slim prospects, all right? Okay, very good. So let's get started, guys. I'm going to show you guys a series of steps in sequence that you all must get done if you want to succeed in this environment. If you guys need help, you should always know that AJ Marketing is here to help you. Uh, we have a lot of different services here at AGM. We do content creation. Uh, we have a great studio. We got a great content team. We do media buying, meaning that we help you run your ads. We also set up e-commerce from scratch. We help you scale e-commerce e -co e brands. We help you get your Amazon brands going and taking off. Uh, we help you generate leads and prospects if you need more people to service, whatever the case may be. That's what we specialize on. In case you don't know, AGM stands for Attention Grabbing Media, and we're obsessed with the subject of cap capturing attention, and that has taken us to where we're at here today. That particular obsession is the key to a thriving business because attention equals revenue. You get attention, you can grow. You've got no attention, you struggle. So today is going to be the roadmap for getting that attention that we all need in order for us to scale our business and get our message in front of more people. So um, why, why, why you should pay attention to, today to you guys, like I, uh, to me? Well, because like I said, we've done a lot of revenue. Here are some examples. 
Uh, these are like the last few years of, uh, of some of the brands that we manage. Quarter million, 400,000, 600,000, 900,000, and we repeat this process over and over. Almost 10 million, 70 million, and this is just uh, talking about one platform. We do a lot of revenue on Amazon. Just this year, we're going to do probably more than $50 million in revenue on Amazon. So again, we have something here that you guys want to learn about. So again, you came to the right place. I know I might be preaching to the choir because you already interrupted whatever you had lined up tonight to be here with us. So how do we accomplish this? There is a journey that we're going to talk about today, and it's just a few steps. But every step has to be done in sequence. And if it's not done in sequence, you're going to probably not accomplish success. In the game of business, I like to describe the, um, the chance probabilities of succeeding in the same way that I uh, describe a baseball player who's a superstar. If you get to get on base three out of ten times, uh, you're a superstar, you go to the Hall of Fame, if that's your career. So that requires that this person gets on base 30% of the time and fails to get on base 70% of the time. Business is very similar. If you have the courage to be a business owner, you also have the courage to fail because it's a part and parcel of the world that we live in today and it's an ine inevitable part of the journey as an entrepreneur. So there's a series of steps and uh, we're gonna recap each one of them as quickly as possible and then if you guys have any questions or comments, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna hand over the microphones. Uh, I do want you guys to use the microphones because we have people on the stream that wanna listen to what you guys have to say and if you don't use the microphone, we cannot have them hear you. I have talked about this first step before and I'm gonna to explain to you and give you some examples, but it says, determine your superpower. Um, a little description on that, it says, what can you offer that could help solve problems for your potential customers? You can use that to create content. The world of social media requires that you give some value. The old world of marketing did not require that. You had a great commercial, it could be a 30 second commercial or one minute, or you had a radio ad, and all you had to, do have, all you had to have was a great offer, and a great commercial that pulls attention in, and you're gonna be good. That was called direct response marketing. You create a content piece, and that keeps on feeding you. In social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all these platforms, you gotta start with value. And that value is gonna eventually lead towards attention, if you do it enough, and that attention leads towards revenue. There is no way around that. The era of going direct to the consumer and asking for their information in exchange for nothing or asking them for their money in exchange for no value, it's not really where we're at today in 2022. All these brands that are blowing up in the world of the internet today are blowing up for a couple of reasons. One of them is because they're providing value. You look at somebody like Dr. Eric Berg, who's, been, who's seen his content before, raise your hand. Okay, so he's uh, known as the ketogenic diet king. We, we're, gonna, we're about to reach 7 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. We generate over 70 million views uh, um, across all his world of the internet. And from that value, we generate incredible amounts of revenue. Simple, simple formula, same thing with Natural Slim. My dad was a content creator. We have over 2,000 episodes. And from that incredible value, we have built this incredible organization that generates unlimited attention and we're able to sell our products and services effectively. Same thing with AGM. AGM is what it is today. A company with over 100 staff, an Inc. 5000 company, one of the fastest growing marketing companies on the planet because we have provided value first. I have consistently done this that I'm doing today getting on a stage, giving you guys value in exchange for absolutely nothing. I'm actually paying to get your attention because we give you food. We uh, do advertising to bring you into these, uh, these particular workshops. We have staff that are actively working to bring you guys over here. You're not, and you're not, uh, you don't have an obligation to give me a single penny. The philosophy has taken us to where we're at today. I have given value for many years. Uh, this is uh, officially my sixth year delivering value, giving content information, and from that value, we have generated a pretty impressive uh, marketing organization that does what it does every single day and has the privilege of working with some incredible people uh, along the way. So this strategy has been proven time and time again. You don't have to be a personal brand per se to succeed in this world. It's just something that makes it faster if you have some human being that can become relatable to somebody else. You can become a brand that doesn't have a face. There's many examples of that. There's a, a company that I have followed for many years. They don't have a face. 
they do incredible value and incredible content and uh, they have been selling mattresses uh, for many, many years and they're one of the fastest growing internet companies on this world that we live in. They're called Purple. Anybody has seen Purple before? I know Jorge himself, he, he has probably lost the money because he orders mattresses and then he doesn't like them and he returns them and he's like insatiable. And I, so they're probably like adjusting their policies. I tested just because of like them. 15 mattresses so far. Yeah. Two from purple, the other ones all over. They're having board I'm meetings still trying to searching for the readjust right <laughs> the policy on uh, unlimited returns just because of him, right? So they, they're a faceless brand that does incredible value, and by doing so, they pull a lot of attention in. So if you guys are, I don't want to be Manuel, I don't want to be like Dr. Berg, I don't want to be Frank Suarez, I don't want to be any of these guys, well, there is a way to do that also with great quality content that has a lot of value. Superpower equals value. What is that thing that you can do to make somebody else's life better? And I'm going to give you some examples on different businesses and models that you can try to incorporate on your own. But we all have it. If you don't have an ability to make somebody else better, you don't really have a business that makes sense for people to give you their money. We all have something that is going to make somebody else better. And that is what it just, that's what we call your superpower that you can use to capture that attention. So we also have, as a next step, we're going to reach more people with paid ads. Today, I'm going to give you guys some live examples on exactly how we do this. How do we actually take some of that value and we boost it or we put it in front of more people? Because if we don't give these platforms money, our reach is limited. Because Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, TikTok, all these platforms are not 501Cs, nonprofit organizations. They need money. That's what they are. Most of them are public corporations. TikTok is not a public corporation yet, but their, their business is capturing your attention so they can sell advertising to other people that want your attention. That's the whole business. So you want to make sure that you are reaching people with that value, and there's a few ways that you can press a few buttons and get your value in front of more people. It's going to allow you to build audiences. We're going to show you exactly how to build these audiences from your great superpower. That's number two. Number three, we're going to create buckets of audiences of these people. So people that are consuming that content, they're watching those videos, they're engaging with your ads, they're interacting somehow with your superpower, with your value. We're going to create a bucket of these people because here's the thing. In the United States, there's 240 million people actively on social media platforms. It's a very large percentage. We're looking at about 80% of the population is actively using Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, one of these platforms. It's actually quite a phenomenon when you meet somebody that is not active on any of these platforms. No, I don't use social media. Who has experienced that? Raise your hand if you have met a, a lot of people that don't. <laughs> it's actually quite limited, and these people feel a little bit like aliens. Like, what do you mean? Like, even the ones that a lot of us used to say, I was one of them, no, 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 TikTok is for teenagers. I'm not into that. And now I'm on TikTok, right? So traditionally, we say we're not going to use Facebook we're not into it, and then we jump into it. Oh no, Instagram is not for me, and then we jump into it. Oh no, TikTok is not for me, and then we inevitably jump into it. It's been the trend on all these platforms for ages. So we need to know how to create that audience that is actually engaging with the content. Because most people that are on these platforms are not interested in your products or services. There's just too many of them. I wish I could tell you guys that everybody's gonna love your product. That's not the reality, that's a romantic idea that you might want to get rid of because you got to work on finding your audience. Like if I promote my dad's content, he has incredible content, incredible ability to educate. If I'm just trying to sell my natural slim brand to everybody, I'm going to experience a lot of losses because most people are not interested in losing weight right now. They're not interested in feeling energy right now. They're not interested in that. They want to keep on eating Panda Express all day long, right? <laughs> no disrespect to anybody that is eating Panda Express right now, all right? So when you got you to gotta make sure that you find people that are interested in that particular subject right now in order for you to generate business. Out of 240 million people, most of them are not interested in losing weight right now. So this process allows me to discover the people that are interested right now that I can service. More on that on the process in a second. 
Number four, after we have those audiences, I use those audiences to do something called retargeting, in which I put another message in front of them and I invite them to be a part of our world. Uh, at this point, I am trying to, I just discovered that I can do this, look at this, that's cool. I'm, I'm actually trying to get these people to trust me enough to go out of social media and give me their phone number and email so I can continue building that journey outside of social media. Because social media is not the end all. Social media is the starting point. You're trying to leverage these incredible platforms to try to get attention so you can eventually get them out of the world and into your world because you cannot generate revenue directly from social media on a consistent basis. The roadmap has to be followed. If you just try to sell products to these people over here, you're gonna end up experiencing a loss. Why? Because in the world of business, there's something that has been forever uh, talked about in the world of marketing. People need to see you several times before they trust you. On average, seven times minimum before they say, you know what, I'm gonna open up my wallet. I trust these guys. So the way that you do that is you follow this particular roadmap. So over here, when you are trying to get them into your world, you say, hey, I want to give you something for free. I want to give you this value. I want to give you this particular offer. Why don't you come into our world so I can help you a little bit more with what our superpower is all about? And you get them to trust you, and they open up their information, and now you have them on your text messaging list, on your email list, on your WhatsApp, on your messenger list, on your Instagram DM, and all these places that you have more control over, and that's where things get better for you as a business owner. You gotta grow that list. You guys have heard that saying, raise your hand if you heard the saying that says, the money's in the list. Raise your hand, right? This is an old marketing adage. The, the bigger your list is, the more revenue you will be able to generate. If you don't have a big list, if you don't have a growing list, your, your business will not be able to grow. Your business will grow in direct proportion to how your list is growing. You wanna have a booming list? Aggressively work on building your identities. And this is the easiest way to get it to actually start booming across the board. So we use free resources and coupons to generate new leads. I'm gonna give you some examples on how we do that over here at AGM. And then last but not least, we bring them into our world and we nurture them. The word is nurture, just like you take care of a baby. We provide a lot of communication, we send them emails, text messaging, we introduce them to our brand, we let them know how we can help them and what's in it for them if they actually keep on believing in us and eventually buying products from us. It's not, only, it's not only about getting people to buy for the first time, it's about getting them to keep on buying from you and eventually getting them to start talking to others about you. And that's how a real business is built in today's world. So we're gonna try to break down those steps today, guys. So by the end of the workshop, you're gonna have more of a clear picture. If you're looking for passive income, something that you don't have to really put a lot of energy, you did not come to the right workshop, so I apologize for that. This is a workshop that requires that you go out home, you strategize, and you put some energy behind it, and you get to work. Because the world of business that I know does not really have any passive income. The world, the world that I know is actually built on hard work, and that's the number one step. Sure, passive income exists, right? But generally, it exists for those people that already have generated enough revenue, then they can grab that money and start investing in property, start investing in different funds and different things that keep on feeding them back. Generally, you gotta go through this roadmap first and build a business that brings energy back to you so you can eventually create passive income outside of that world. This one has to be built. So let's go over the first one right here, determining your superpower. So how do we determine what is the one thing that we can do to make the world a better place? I already know mine. I'm teaching you guys about marketing. I'm hopefully gonna get a lot of you guys to be blown away today, get your mind moving with all kinds of activities and ideas, go home and start implementing. The stories that I hear every single day of people, the other day I had a, I have a program called the AGM Ninja Lab in which uh, people come into our world and we help them implement, it's a roadmap for, for them to succeed in the world of business. I had a lady that she has a, an, a very nice brand. She actually does uh, coolers and she wraps them and she puts different logos on it and branding and very cool stuff. When she started with me, she had done $10,000 in uh, a year for the last two or three years um, in a row and she wasn't able to scale from that. Last year she broke a million dollars in revenue just doing cool wrappers, uh, cooler wrappers that that's what her business is built on. So intellectual property in combination with application of that knowledge is the key to getting your business moving forward. So what is a superpower? 
You look at people like Damon John. He's teaching people on education, uh, on business. Chick Corea, great musician that passed. Somebody said here that he that used to work with Chick Corea. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. Bob, how's it going, man? Great to see you here. Uh, we got a chance to work together while we had the incredible honor of having Chick around. Uh, so Chick Corea had an ability to influence others with his incredible music and inspire other people. And he, that was his superpower. So he kept on bringing attention towards his music. My dad, um, we're already like almost at 6 million subscribers at this point. Legacy, by definition, right here. He passed away in February of last year. And his content is being widespread still, far and wide, and we're reaching new people every single day. His ability to teach people about the metabolism, about health, about weight loss, it's bar none, especially in the world of Latin America. You're not going to get somebody else like him that did that for so long. We created a YouTube channel for our brand called Natural Slim. We give information on that value. Dr. Rick Berg, um, about to hit 7 million subscribers right now, teaching people about the ketogenic diet. That's superpower, right? So again, we got to look at more examples that are applicable to you guys. But we've done it on the Facebook page. This is what I do every day uh, on my Facebook page. Uh, we teach people about marketing. I give them tools and strategies and actionable things that they can do to get their business going to the next level. And we're doing that consistently across all the channels that we manage here at AGM. Uh, if you guys don't know this lady right here, that's Nancy Cartwright. She is one of the biggest voice actors, actually the second biggest boy, voice actor in the world only second to uh, her co-star, which is Homer Simpson. She is Bart Simpson. So she is educating people on how she does voice acting. She's always bringing attention. And she's one of the biggest stars in that particular world of uh, voice acting. Uh, examples of superpowers. So for example, if you have a clothing brand, well, fashion tips. How to feel better as a woman, <laughs> as a man. How to dress better so you can have uh, an increased um, value of yourself. Supplements, health and fitness. If you're into makeup, makeup tutorials. There's some massive brands. If you look at one of the biggest makeup brands is from this girl, uh, Kylie Jenner, the Kardashian, right? She's a billion dollar business at this point. And uh, was that? When she was a teenager, she became a billionaire. She, when she was a teenager, she was a billionaire. Granted, it's not a great example because she had a catapult <laughs> called the Kardashians, right? <laughs> yeah. We don't have that catapult um, in general, but People that do makeup tutorials and educate people on makeup are giving people value, and by doing so, they bring attention. Office supplies, for example, just a very general example. You can give organizational tips. If you're selling staplers, and if you're selling like papers, and if you're selling whatever the case may be, you're giving people information about how to organize. Uh, again, we just made these ones up just to give you guys an idea. Beauty products, skincare, anti-aging, it's a pretty massive subject right there. You find something that you can teach to the world and you actually do it. If you as a business owner, as a brand owner yourself, you don't feel like getting in front of the camera, you just bring somebody on board that does it for you. This is the best investment that your business can have. There's a lot of people that are 20 years old, 18 years old, 25 years old, looking for opportunities to actually be a part of something special. This is no longer an optional thing. Having somebody create content for your brand should be part and parcel of any business in the 2022 environment. Service brand, for example, if you guys are uh, doing services, raise your hand if you have a service business. Right, you need more prospects, more people. You need to get people to trust you. If you're a tax accountant, for example, you need to get people to believe in you and your ability to guide them on the jungle of uh, the IRS rules and regulations. So you want to be able to give people education on that subject. If you're a CPA and you have the legal ability to counsel people in that area. Digital marketing, that's me, right? Marketing tips, information, how to, bet, how to be more successful in that particular environment. If you're a consultant, there's a lot of people that are business consultants. They're helping businesses do better. Well, give them free information on how to do better. I like to give you guys an analogy. I've used this in the past, that if you want to succeed in any of these environments, here's an example. If you're a car mechanic, anybody here a car mechanic by any chance? OK. If you're a car mechanic and you want to have, and you want to have your shop full of people that you actually have to have a waiting list, all you got to do is follow this particular journey and teach people everything about cars, every single thing. Some other people, old school, will tell you, it's my intellectual property. Why am I going to give it away for free? Why am I going to do that when I work so hard at acquiring this knowledge? Oh my god, I spent 25 years learning mechanics on vehicles. Well, it's the actual opposite of that. You want to teach people about changing spark plugs, about changing oils, about tire rotations. You want to teach people about how to handle mechanical failures. 
anything that has to do with that vehicle, you give that value away and you create content around that and you push that value and you make sure that people don't ever need you. You do everything possible to have people avoid needing your shop. You, if you do that consistently, look at me, I'm giving you guys everything. I'm not holding anything back. I'm giving you guys the entire strategy. I still have a long list of people that want to be a part of AGM consistently. And we actually have to limit the amount of clients that we bring into AGM because I don't have enough manpower to service all of them. That's even me giving away everything that I have. I don't sell, at this point, digital courses. I'm actually giving away the information for free. And I was just going to add that another thing you can do besides uh, what Manuel just went over is just document what you're doing throughout your day. Like in the car, uh, the mechanic example, you just show people how you're actually fixing it. Maybe like Manuel was saying, you, you can show them also like, you know, what you, like how to do it, but you can just document and just let people watch what you do. Um, we have somebody commenting here, Manuel, that's saying, um, can we discuss B2B services in this context? Because so they kind of find it, find it hard to uh, relate to product-based marketing, they're in recruiting and staffing. Well, it's the, same, it's the same thing that I was talking about right here, right? Business consulting, you're trying to reach business owners. It's the same route. It depends on where do you want to reach them. If I want to find, if I want to find uh, business owners to, to uh, service, I wouldn't necessarily go to Pinterest, right? I would probably go to a platform that has business owners using the platform. I also have to take into account what platforms have the best opportunity to reach people. Facebook and Instagram today still are still the best performing ad platform. It's easier to advertise on Facebook and bring people into our world consistently. You have platforms like LinkedIn, which are meant for professionals, business owners, and people looking for jobs and looking for opportunities. These are the guys that you might want to service, but the LinkedIn platform is not as good, as robust as the Facebook and Instagram platform. But you can reach people there. So if you want to learn LinkedIn ads, something that we also do over here, you can run LinkedIn ads. They're just more expensive. Like for example, if I want to reach a thousand people on Facebook, on average, I might just have to pay $10 to reach a thousand people. If I want to reach a thousand people on LinkedIn, I might have to pay $60, $75. So it's going to be a lot higher cost of advertising, but it's going to be more qualified advertising people, right? Because I'm going to be putting myself in front of more people. People on Facebook can tend to be disinterested in whatever your message is. They're just wasting their time and it's going to be a lower quality lead in general. I did a video on that recently. If you're interested in running ads to generate prospects, there is no higher qualified prospect than somebody that comes from a Google search. That's a reality. Because for example, if you have a, if you're a plumber, and you want to run Facebook ads, well, I got it, but most people don't have a clogged toilet right now. But if somebody goes to Google and it says, I need to find a plumber locally, that person needs a service right now. They need to solve a problem right now. They might have like all kinds of things flowing out of that toilet. It's a problem mm -hmm. at this point. So if you have that person reached out to and you don't close them, something is terribly wrong with your sales process. So that's something that you got to keep in mind. A, a, a Google lead is always going to be higher qualified, but at a much higher pace. But again, we're talking about the journey to build your brand longer term, not just to survive right now. Because I, like I said on the formula, you got to generate prospects. So the, the, the plumber that wants to grow their business and is interested, not in the present time, but more in the future, will be doing a smart thing investing in generating prospects because when the, that person actually does need their service, they're going to be the first ones to be thought about because you were able to put yourself there. You might be able to pay a dollar a lead on Facebook. You might pay $50 a lead on Google. The leads cannot be compared. Very different prospect, and you got to just keep that in mind as you're advertising on these platforms. Generally, I like to describe both worlds as if you want to build your future, you go heavy on Facebook. If you need to survive right now because you need to pay your rent, you need to pay your mortgage, you need to buy your Panda Express, uh, you you want to make sure that you do Google because it's going to feed you right now. It depends on that. Usually we like to do a combination of both because we like to find the people that are looking for a solution to a problem right now while we find those people that are not interested necessarily right now, but we're going to create an awareness along the way and that's what Facebook and Instagram can do for you. Um, are, are you talking about Google? Question over here. Gotcha. Thank you. Are, are you talking about Google AdSense or a different Google 
Google AdSense, yeah. Is that yeah. what you're talking about, though? Well, Google is AdSense is more meant for... AdWords. Uh, ad, we're, we're talking about AdWords. We're talking about AdWords, like right, ads. in which you want to be on the search. If somebody says, uh, local plumber, you want to show up there. You do that through a platform called Google AdWords, which okay. is adwords.google.com. Okay. So you can set that up, and they're very simple to set up. They're a lot more expensive. Back in the day, in 2005, they used to be five cents a click. Right now, if, you, if you're a plumber, you're going to have to pay... $15 for a click, $12 for a click, maybe even $20 for a click. But if you actually are able to have a good sales process in place and convert that person, then you can actually ac accomplish profitability on that area. Very different worlds. You cannot put them next to each other because it's not apples to apples. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, we got more to cover. Hold on to that mic. If you're a hairstylist, if you're a chiropractor, for example, or a doctor, you give health fitness tips. If you're a hairstylist, you can give hair tips and tutorials. One, and, can I give you a real quick yep. example of two, two examples, uh, two people, two friends that I have on TikTok. One that on the product side, all he does, he does uh, like art, canvas, printing and whatnot. So he just shows the machine printing the art every day, different kinds of art. And then that creates the want for somebody. Oh, I want that one too. And then he gets a bunch of orders that way. And he doesn't even talk. But that, his superpower is just showing what is possible with his machines, right? And yep. a chiropractor client that we had, all he did also, I mean, you could do tips, but all he did was he recorded himself just kind of cracking cracking backs and that noise it was it it people love it i don't know he just made he, he just made videos that like they were like five minutes long of just cracking somebody's back and that's all he did if if you keep on putting that video in front of people whenever they do experience back pain which happens quite often who are they going to think about first exactly it's the coca-cola effect like I, as i like to describe sodas are coca-colas why because they've been branding our, their themselves for so many years so that's the value of doing social media marketing like this all right Okay, good. So we got superpower. You guys should get some ideas going and you should definitely think about what is your ability that you have to help people. What is the thing that got you into your business? What is the thing that motivates you? Because this is applicable to everybody. I have seen some, you know, like um, artists, for example. There's a lot of artists over here. Musicians. Um, they, a lot of them struggle. They, mo more often than not, musicians actually struggle. Uh, artists, they start, right? In general, it's quite common. Uh, my, my brother was a starving musician for a long time he, I, until he pulled the plug, he quit, and he went into some other career. Um, and, um, but in general, these artists, uh, I like to uh, also use an analogy here. You see uh, a lot of these artists that we have today that we have gotten introduced to, which are amazing, even the modern ones or the older ones. You look at da, da Vinci's and all these guys. They figured out how to get in front of people. They figured out marketing. Whatever the case may be, we have a lot more artists than what we, we discovered that simply did not figure that part out. It's not that artists are uh, too exclusive and there's not many great artists. There's a lot of great artists. A lot of them never get discovered because they don't figure out the marketing process. There is a, a guy that um, uh, I've, I've, I've actually seen his journey for the last few years. He's a photographer, a great photographer. He just kept on doing this exact journey. And now this guy sells millions of dollars of his art, of his, photograph, uh, of his photography every single year because he got attention. I got other people that are trying to learn and they post on social media and they say, nobody bought for me, nobody reached out. It's not a something that you can just do for a week or a few days and then hopefully people get attention. If not, nobody cares about it. It's something that you have to consistently, you have to be committed to doing for a long time. That's the way it is. If you go back to some of the examples that I've been able to be a part of, my father started creating content in 2012. The first two years, he felt he was a crazy old man <laughs> talking to the camera. Nobody would watch his content. Even though he was a great content creator, nobody would watch the content. Not until we figured out some marketing strategies in 2014, the YouTube channel started taking off and his content started getting seen and we started getting business. So you gotta just put your head down and know what it takes and don't come back to me and say that you've tried it for six weeks and it hasn't worked because it's something that is long term now of course if you come back to me and you say I've been doing this for a year and a half and nobody pays attention then we should be concerned about it right I might have to come back and be like look it's just maybe people don't have interest in your art maybe that's what it is or maybe you didn't press enough buttons to get people to start paying attention that's just the way it is right so persistence on a given path is going to be crucial for you to be able to accomplish success in this area so reach more people with paid ads 
So over here it says create paid campaigns, ads to reach more people that might be interested in your content. Back in 2011, when Facebook was just basically getting started, it was very easy to create content and get reach and go viral and get people to pay attention. Facebook and Instagram are not there. There are opportunities. I don't want to open up cans of worms, but there are many opportunities in this environment. For example, there's something right now. Anybody heard what Instagram Reels is about? Raise your hand. Wow, look at that. Reels, Reels, R-E-E-L-S. Uh, anybody heard what TikTok is? Raise your hand if you know what TikTok is. Raise your hand. If I asked that question a year ago, 20% of you guys would have raised a hand, all right? It's, it's one of those things that opportunities. So there's the ability to capture attention at a faster pace on some of these platforms. Instagram Reels, you should definitely note it down. Facebook Reels, you should definitely note it down. These are video clips anywhere from 15 seconds to one minute in length, and they are taking off. Even if you don't have a lot of followers right now, you have the ability to break through right now. We haven't had that ability in years. And I'm going to try in a little bit. I'm going to share something with you guys. I'm going to show you examples of how we're taking off with small channels that are just getting started with some of these opportunities. If you guys don't have an advertising budget and you're like struggling trying to get your Panda Express, I just keep on, I just keep on using that, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you don't have enough money to invest on paid campaigns, this leveraging existing opportunities on the platforms is the way to go because you can start getting attention and start generating some revenue, which will eventually help you get some money into some of these paid campaigns. That's for those of you guys that have zero advertising budgets in general. I'm going to give you guys some examples on, on what's happening on that, on that area. But we're going to reach more people with paid ads. So. Now that you're creating content, right? You got your superpower running. You're putting co content on Facebook and Instagram. You're being omnipresent, which by the way, we do have any of you guys that are here. We do have a, 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 a workshop that we did several months ago, which talks about how to go omnipresent. Any, any of you guys are interested in that? Just ask me, ask one of our guys and we'll give you the link for that. Again, these are workshops that in all honesty, they should be paid. Nobody else is doing it, and you can get the training for free. So there's a workshop that I did several months ago that talks about the organic content strategy to spread your message far and wide so you can get attention for peanuts because these platforms are free. You don't have to pay to have access to these platforms. Uh, on our YouTube channel, if you search for Manuel Suarez, there's a section called Playlist, and on Playlist, you're going to be able to see some of these workshops that we put in the past. That one right there is going to teach you how to get organic content spread and be omnipresent in general. So now that you're creating that content, let me show you now what to do with this. And here, I'm gonna share something with you guys. And, um, wow, I can't, it's 6.52? Wow, I do talk, you guys gotta make me sometimes shut up, all right? Because I got, I got a lot of things to cover with you guys. So right now, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you an example on, right here on the projector, on how to get these value content pieces to reach more people. So for example, here we got Dr. Rick Bird. All right, he has half a million followers on his Instagram almost, and he has great content, great reach. Again, this guy is a super powerhouse content creator, so it's a great example of what it is to provide that value. If I wanna get more people, again, 493,000 is not even 1%, not even close to 1% of the potential audience out there. It's, we got so much room to grow still. So I want to be able to take some of the money that he's already making on his brand, which is quite a bit, and I want to use it to reach more people. How do I do that? Well, directly on the Instagram app, it's very simple to press a few buttons and reach more people. So what do I do over here? I'm going to show you guys both on Instagram and on Facebook how to get this done. So let's say, for example, over here, I want to get this content piece over here to reach more people. This is a four minute and 23 second video. He has a thousand views. It was just posted a few hours ago. And I want to use that video to reach more people. Seven weird signs, symptoms of zinc deficiency. So there's a button over here that says boost post. And you guys are all going to have that. If you don't have that, it's probably because you have something called a personal Instagram account. All you got to do is you go to the settings over here of your account, settings, and you change that. You go to settings and you go to uh, account. And at the bottom of it, it says switch account type. And you can see over here, we can switch it to a personal account or to a business account. There's three types of accounts on Instagram. Personal, creator, 
or business. That's it. If you want to spread your message because you're a content creator and you're a personal brand, you can do either creator or you can do business, one or the other. If you don't have a business per se, well, you, you will be using your Instagram profile only personally. Personal means exactly that. You're going to use it to engage with your friends and family and that's it. To put your pictures on the, pic on the beach and drinking a pina colada or... I feel like saying again, eating your Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> uh, so again, this, you're going to do either a business or a create or creator account, right? If you're a natural slim, for example, you do a business account. If you're a Manuel Suarez, you do a creator account. It depends on that. That's going to allow you for you to boost your, your, your social media organic content. So in this case, Dr. Berg has a creator account. So I'm going to go ahead and look at his post, and I'm going to click on this one right here, and I'm going to click on boost post. And in a matter of a minute or two, I can be reaching new people out there in the world on Instagram. This has been oversimplified over the years. Why? Because Facebook needs to make money. In case you didn't know, Instagram is owned by Facebook. They need your money in order for them to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, I'm going to advertise with a Facebook ad account. If you don't have one, you're going to have to create one. And you can go for the steps over here to get that done. Or you can do without a Facebook ad account, which I don't recommend. Again, I don't want to open up a can of worms, but when you, when you do it through the Facebook ad account, there is another world that opens up, which is part of that journey, which is called the, the Meta Business Suite, which allows you to accumulate audiences of people watching your content. If you advertise randomly without accumulating those audiences, it's like throwing money down the drain because you want to be able to continue building that relationship with people. So in this case, we're going to use a Facebook ad account. We're going to click on continue. And then it's going to make me do a couple of things, especially if I'm doing it for the first time. I'm logging in over here, continue as Manuel. And I'm back over here. So I selected the Facebook ad account. OK. And then Dr. Berg account, continue. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to not now right now. Let me see. Uh-oh. No, 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 not at all. No piggybacking. They're, they're all individual. If you guys look at my Instagram, I have all these accounts connected. Manuel Suarez, Eric Berg, Natural Slim, Metabolismo TV, AGM. I can just switch from one to the other. All right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and switch the example and go to Natural Slim, which is our brand over here. And I'm going to click on this one over here. I'm going to click on Boost Post. And let me see if this is ready. Okay, so right away I see I clicked on Boost Post. And now it's asking me, what do I want? Do I want more visits to my profile? If you guys want to get more followers, you can pay for them. It's actually going to be real followers because you're putting ads in front of them. Do I want to get more website visits or do I want to get more messages? If you guys want to generate prospects, why not just select more messages and create videos that inspire people to message you and ask any questions and engage with you? That, that way you can build a connection with these people. In this case, I'm going to select more website visits and uh, I have a few options over here. This one over here at the top is for people that have credit opportunities, employment, housing. You've got to get special approval to run these type of ads. Or I can do automatic. At that point, I'm letting Facebook select an audience for me. I recommend that you guys select your own audience. I'm going to go to create my own. And I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it, USA Females. Usually, I will get a lot more detail on that. I will select locations. I will select. Uh, United States as, uh, as my location. Again, you can get really, really micro over here. If I wanted to target 10 miles around this building, I can. If I wanted to target a zip code, I can. If I want to target a city or a state only, I can. All of that is possible with this particular platform over here. So for example, I got United States over here. If I wanted to target Largo, which is where we're at, I can just type in Largo, Florida, and I got Largo, Florida. So it's going to target people over here only. If you're a local business just servicing the Largo area, why would you target anybody else, right? So I'm going to go and select Largo. And it, and it tells you how many you can reach up there, right, at the top? It can tell you, yeah, we're over here right away. That's a good point, Jorge. Uh, 71,000 to 84,000 people are the estimated audience actively on Facebook, on Instagram, on that particular category of Largo. USA females ages 18 to 65. So if I want to change this over here, um, Dr. Berg's audience, this is natural slim, is going to be 40 
to 55, 39, 39 to 55 is more of our demographic. I go to, uh, I'm gonna take away males because males are not interested in health as much as females are. Our audience is historically 80% females. So I'm not gonna target males because you know, generally males that come to us are being forced by their wives to get on a diet. That's realistically, right? So we're gonna keep on the females in there. We're gonna go to done. And I already selected my audience over here. So I got an estimated 9,500 uh, people to 11,000 estimated in Largo, females, 39 to 55 years old. I go to done, and I'm gonna go to next, and I'm gonna select what is my budget. Anybody can afford $5 a day, all right? So I can do $5 a day, and I can run it for six days, I can run it for one day, I can run it for 30 days. What's the minimum? The minimum advertising budget, anybody has a dollar to spend a day, all right? If you do a dollar a day, you can reach anywhere from 630 to 1700. Why do they have that range so spread? Very simple. The better your content, the more reach you will get. Because Facebook and Instagram are going to reward you for creating content that people are interested in. As simple as that. The, the logic behind it is quite simple. Facebook is trying to keep people on the platform. If you're giving them content that is low quality, people are going to be inclined towards being like, this is boring, I'm getting out of here, I'm going to go to TikTok. So they reward you for producing great quality content. So you can get more reach if your content is good. For example, my dad gets great reach, especially organically. Why? Because his content is so good that people interact with it, they engage with it, and they lower the cost to reach these people. It's a great system. So I'm going to go and select 30 days. Actually, I'm, I don't have enough money right now. So I'm going to spend $5 over five days. And I'm going to go to next. And I can preview the ad right here. You can see how it's going to look. So I got a couple of options. I'm going to preview it on the feed. This is how it's going to look on the feed, all right? Or I can preview it on stories. This is how it's going to look on stories in a second. It's coming. It's readjusting it. Remember, Instagram is not only Instagram. Instagram is Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, Instagram TV, Instagram Feed, all right? All those things are part of what Instagram is at. Or I can go to Explore. Explore is a section of Instagram in which people are just trying to engage with new things that they haven't been exposed to before. So there we go. So I have this, this post right here, and I can just go ahead and click on Boost Post, and it's telling me something about discrimination, Etc. and I accept, and just like that, the ad is being reviewed. In the next hour or two, they're gonna start showing that across the city of Largo. Yeah. I get more attention for a few dollars. That's the magical thing. You guys have to play, compete with yourself. If you have a dollar a day, that's better than zero dollars a day. If you have a hundred dollars a day, usually in AGM, we have a formula. And that formula depends on how much income we generate. And every single month, we use that formula to determine how much money we're gonna spend on advertising. I recommend that you guys also have a formula in place because if you don't advertise, you don't get attention. If you don't get attention, your company stops growing. So you gotta consistently put money to play in platforms like Instagram and Facebook and TikTok to help you get attention. So that's it for that one. I'm gonna show you guys very simply. Or you wanna share something with them while I open up over here? Yeah, let me see if we have any questions. So. Oh, we had um, one guy, his name's Jason from YouTube. He was saying he's an artist. So you did go over that example for artists, how you can use what you're showing. Um, okay, we got asking for the oh link. Oh my God, we got 12 minutes left. How is that possible? All right. I don't want to disrespect your time, so I'm going to go move a little faster, all right? So this is also, this is Facebook right here. And I'm on the desktop right now. This is Dr. Berg's Facebook page. And he puts a lot of content every single day. We actually do the, the entire content system for him. You can see here that he reached organically, this is without paying a penny, 5.8 million people in the last 30 days, last 28 days. So that's a lot of people, right? He has a great superpower and a great ability to reach people. So we get to reach a lot of people organically, a lot of attention, a lot of business is coming to him. So we take a little bit of that money and we actually take some of the best performing content and we spread it far and wide. So anybody here, raise your hand if you have a Facebook page. Okay, so you go to facebook.com forward slash the name of your page. In this case, it's facebook.com forward slash DR Eric Berg. And if you're logged in and you're the admin of the page, you're gonna see a section here at the bottom left in this column that says insights. 
insights. This is what we like to do. I like to use the survey data from what is happening on our organic content. And this is going to be also different from brand to brand because some of you guys are getting one like or two on your polls. Maybe you're getting six views or 12 views on your videos. So it depends. Dr. Berg gets 10,000 view, 10, views, 100,000 views. So we use the survey data, meaning what are people engaging with the most? And we actually push that out even further because the audience already spoke to us. The audience said to us, hey, this content was great. And Facebook actually rewarded us by helping us reach more people. So I use that data. Why would I actually advertise something that is not getting good reach? Because something that is not getting good reach is basically Facebook telling me, mm, that is not as good as that one right there. So I'm going to suppress the reach on it. So instead of going for the ones that have very little reach, I use audience insights to determine what are the best performing posts. So if I go over here on insights and I look at, uh, for example, here, I can click on see all posts. It's going to open up this window over here. This is all, everything, something that we all have available. And I can click on, I can, I can segment this by reach over here. So reach, organic, paid, etc. So you can see here that I have um, information about how much these guys have actually reached people. That is my best survey data. So for example, this one over here, please notice that every single one of these posts, what do they have on the site? Oh, right. So I'm using Facebook data to tell me which ones are being accepted the most by people. And now I'm going to look at this one right here. And I'm like, oh my God, this one was fire. Bam. Talking about cholesterol and health and et cetera. Okay, good. It's a hot item. I'm going to go ahead and boost that one. So I click on boost and this is very simple to do. Now I'm going to go and, uh, and select if I want to add a button in it. For example, shop now or I can go to uh, sign up or send me a message or I want to do learn more so I can connect them with, with our brand a little bit more, bring them to the next step of that journey. In this case, I want to send them to our website. So I'm going to go to uh, learn more and uh, the website is drberg.com. For simplicity purposes, we're going to keep it like that. And then we're going to look at, you can start seeing how the post looks over here. Very simple, a few hashtags image over here of Dr. Berg. It's a hot item right there. It seems to be reaching a lot of people. It's good. So I'm going to go and select an audience over here. So similar to what I went over with on Instagram, you have options on targeting. People who like your page. People who like your page and their friends. Right? Why is that valuable? Because when you come across a post and, say, and it says something like, Anthony also likes this page. Anthony's a friend of mine. I immediately feel like a little bit more trust because Anthony likes it. So if you target people who like your page and their friends, it just makes your audience way bigger. People in your local area, USA business owners, etc. right? So if I'm going to go over here, I can select this audience over here and I'm going to change the audience to Dr. Berg's ideal audience. Let's go to 35 to uh, 54. Usually guys, just so you know, I, I don't like to be too broad. If I want to be, if I want to target different demographics, I split them up. I'm going to go after 35 to 39. I'm going to do another segment of 40 to 44. So I can actually measure specifically what's happening with each audience and I can get more data as to which one is the one that's responding the best to my, my ads. So this one over here is targeting right away Dr. Berg's area, which is Alexander, Virginia. I can remove that. Why? Because Dr. Berg has a national brand. So I want to hit everybody in the entire United States. So I can go over here and I put United States. And again, this is all something that you can be very micro about. It's up to you. And uh, I'm gonna, I can exclude people that are, for example, my, my Facebook page fans already. I want to exclude them because I want to find new people. All of that is possible. And I, it, it's already telling me that from the people that I selected here, which is that age range, there's 92 million people. That's too many. I don't want to do that. That's just simply too many. So I want to bring that down a bit. So what I do is that I start segmenting and I start changing the ages or the demographics. For example, Dr. Berg, similar to us in Natural Slim, is going to be mainly women. So now, by selecting women, it went down to 47,900,000 people. Just so you guys know, my standard when I'm trying to do a campaign is 1 to 2 million people in audience size. 1 to 2 million people. 
If I wanted to test out very different demographics, I split them up into different areas so I can actually get more data about that. For purposes of moving fast and showing you guys how simple this is, we got an ad already set up over here. If you can see here, Facebook is not just Facebook. Facebook has an enormous amount of placements. This drop down menu over here, over here at the top, right, is going to show you all the different placements that you're going to put your ad on. And if you want to, for example, see how is it going to look on Facebook mobile newsfeed, you just change that over here and you can see how it looks over there. If I want to see how it looks on Instagram, I just change it over here and it's going to change in a second. It's not updating, but you're going to see how it looks different per different placements and platforms. That's something that it's going to also give you an idea. Oh my God, my message is going to be spread out on all these different platforms. Facebook Reels, Facebook Stories, Facebook News Feed, Facebook Desktop, uh, the right hand corner on the desktop, uh, the uh, Instagram Reels, Stories, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, all of it is part of the ecosystem that Facebook now calls Meta. They changed the name at some point earlier this year, in case you haven't noticed. And I'm going to click on Boost Post, and just like that, my superpower is being sent out to the world. Facebook is going to take on average an hour to two to start showing your ads everywhere. And it's going to never overspend whatever you tell them you're going to spend. It's always going to, uh, it's going to uh, spend whatever you allow them to spend. So it's very controlled. Back in the day, anybody that's a traditional marketer, you know that you have to get into big television contracts or radio contracts, and you got to commit to spending that money, or you're not going to be able to do business with them again. Not the same thing with Facebook. You can test $5 on a campaign, and if you don't like it, you turn it off. Cancel. Cancel it. Move on to the next one. So it's that powerful right there, and this is how you actually get your message out into the world. Everybody following so far? Yeah. Yes, I can't believe they're running out of time. Um, we did start on time, right, Jorge? We, did. we started on time? Okay, good. Anything you would like to add for now? Um, no. Okay, good. Continue. So, the, I, we spent a lot of time on these two points because these are, these are weaknesses that we see a lot of people, they don't get started with that area. Like, if you cross the barrier of any doubts or concerns you have about yourself, about your ability to produce content and give value, you can start getting content out there. That's the first big uh, step that you got to do. You got to start doing that. Nothing else is going to happen until you put that thing in place. Once you reach people with ads, you create buckets of audiences. So again, this, these slides right here, do we have, uh, are we going to give it to them, the slides? Yes, they'll get, they'll receive, everybody receives the slides via email. So Carly says that you're going to receive the slides via email. So anybody on the stream, by the way, do not leave just yet because I put together a PDF, which is only a few pages long which is a nine step formula for success that you gotta just get one step applied and one to the next one. And if you scan that QR code, uh, you're gonna be able to get access to it. And if you guys are on the stream, you're gonna wait to the end and I'll give you the link to download it, all right? So that's an important one because all you gotta do is print it out and it's gonna give you content ideas and it's also gonna give you the steps, one, two, three, all the way through nine that you gotta implement. So these are the steps to create audiences. So we talked about how we're boosting this, right? We're getting more people to discover us, to get to see our content on Facebook and Instagram. We gotta create audiences of people that are consuming that content because these people are the ones that are standing out as interested in whatever your message is. And these are the ones that you're gonna be able to bring into your world. And you gotta do this effectively. And there's something called the Facebook Business Manager, actually formerly Facebook Business Manager, is now called the Meta Business Suite, uh, and um, here is where you set up an account, which is free, and if you, don't, if you haven't set that up before, you go to create an account, and you go for the steps of creating that account, all you gotta have is a Facebook login, and you're gonna be able to create your Business Manager account. I actually think that they recently got rid of having to have a Facebook account, No, you right? still need it. You still need it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so over here, there's a few slides, guys. We're not gonna get into that right now, but you should get the slides if you wanna create these buckets of people, right? Create an audience, uh, people that are engaging with your Facebook page. Uh, you wanna select what Facebook page. This one is Manuel Suarez. Anybody that watch, uh, the, uh, everybody that engaged with my page, meaning that they liked the video, they engaged with it, they commented, they shared it, whatever the case may be, they are engaging with me. It's a commitment step. They're sh instead of ignoring me and keep on browsing through their feed, they stop whatever they're doing and they consume the content. That is the next step on that journey. You want to create 
an audience of these people because these are the people that you want to bring into your world. So you go to done over here and you can see right here that now I have Manuel Suarez brand Facebook page engaged in the last 365 days. So in the last year, anybody that actually interacted with my Facebook content, which is quite a bit of people, they're going to actually be, whether it's organic or paid, they're going to be in this audience that I can actually send another message to along the way. So you can see here how it starts looking. I can even select specifically people that have watched, people that have watched 50% of my video. So if it's a 50, uh, if it's a five minute video, if somebody watches two minutes and a half of that video, I can say, put them in that bucket because I know I got somebody super qualified to get them on the next step of that journey. So I can create that audience over here and th that's a pretty big world of audiences that I can create. I can create audiences of people that are in interested in my Instagram, audiences of people that have engaged with my content, audiences of people that are on my email list, uh, audiences of people that have visited my website, all of that is actually possible on this particular side of the world right here. And this is important also because of what you were saying that you want to um, show people your content over and over and over at least seven times before they're going to go through the rest of your Correct. Content. You want to build a, a real business, you got to keep on putting that content in front of people endlessly. All right. So number four, you're going to generate leads. You're going to use free resources and coupons to generate new leads. For example, I created a resource that's called Nine Step Formula to Success in Social Media. I'm giving you guys access to that. In exchange for you getting this particular value, you're going to have to give me your phone number and your email. And I'm going to put you on my list. And eventually, if someday you need marketing help, you're probably going to think of us first. And then after that, decide if, you, if, you, if we can find out a synergy between both of us. So in exchange for my value, you give me your personal contact information. And that's what I require for everything that we put together for you guys here. Right? So you want to do something like that. And there's examples right, of what we do over here. This is something that you're getting access to today. Right? So this is a nine-step social media marketing strategy. Basically what we talked about today that you guys can download. You're going to have access to this PDF. I recommend that you guys print it, put it on your desk, and start looking at how to get one step done at a time. Determining your superpowers, setting up your social media channels, creating value-based content, uh, establishing omnipresent on all these different platforms. Again, there's a description on each one. So you guys get this particular value here, and you're going to be on my list, and we're going to be sending you messages and emails, and hopefully one day you're ready to join our organization so we can help you take your business to the next level. This document over here is also going to give you content creation ideas and a cheat sheet for creating videos for the different platforms and different opportunities, written content and so on. So mini courses, for example, here is something that we do a lot. Uh, for example, uh, we do courses on, that are free, that are four or five little lessons or videos that are going to give you some value that at the end of it you're going to know how to do simple Facebook ads, for example, or you're going to do Lead generation, simple things that you can put together that you can give out as value to people. This is something that anybody can do. You find out what is your superpower and you structure that in a little course that you can give out to the world for free in exchange for their contact information. I'm going to give you guys access to a, to a mini course in a second if you guys wanted to download it so you can see how that thing looks like. Uh, this is, for example, Dr. Berg. We do a quiz. Uh, which is really cool, a series of questions, yes or no answers, different uh, options over here, and at the end of it, we end up making offers, but we gave them some value at the end. So we have many different uh, resources that we can do. Flash sales, coupon bonanzas, people love to be a part of something special. I call them a coupon bonanza. This is a, a training that we could do on for e-commerce brands. Raise your hand if you have an e-commerce brand. All right, so if you have an e-commerce brand, for example, you can actually do promotions of your products at deep, deeper discounts and you can bring a lot of people into your world and people enjoy to participate in some of these big promotions. So um, contest, for example, is a great tool. I wanted to give you guys a few examples of lead generation tools. Uh, ClickFunnels is one that we've used for many years. Uh, th this is something that you can qu quickly create websites. The days of ha having to hire somebody in India and paying them a lot of money to build your website, those are long gone. Uh, right now, you can do your own websites. Any of you guys can create um, your account on ClickFunnels.com, pay $99 a month, and you can create your own websites to promote different things. And it's super simple, drag and drop type of things, put an image, put some text, and you got a website. So that's something that we use for lead generation a lot. ManyChat, anybody has heard what ManyChat is? Okay, ManyChat is a lead generation machine on steroids. It is a platform that allows you, and I'm going to give you guys a mini course 
on how to uh, get the basics of ManyChat, but it's something that any of you guys, I am not a professional coder. I hate coding. None of that stuff is actually part of my arsenal. Uh, and I can build some of these things. And we've actually done some great success with this because the world has taken away excuses and has made everything simpler for any of us to be able to do some of these strategies and get them going. ManyChat is a platform that connects Facebook Messenger with you, right? So you can generate prospects and automate things. You can also do um, Instagram direct messages connected over here. You can do text messaging. You can do email. All of that could be done in this platform. Um, we are potentially one of the top five marketing agencies, experts in the subject of ManyChat. We actually won the best performing uh, marketing agency in 2020. Uh, and we're really good at that particular subject. But I'll give you guys an example of how that works. Shopify is our e-commerce platform that we recommend. Zipify is an app inside Shopify that I'm a big fan of. Uh, it was founded by an e-commerce legend called Ezra Farson, and it allows you to present to people that are buying your stuff opportunities to buy more stuff, offers, upsells, cross-sells, etc. So I can just give you guys some examples of the platforms that we use. Gladio is an email marketing platform, which is great for anybody, but it's specifically great for brands, e-commerce product brands. Uh, Keep is a great email platform for influencers, content creators like me. I use Keep. I'm always creating content. We have an email platform which acts as a um, what we like to call a CRM, Customer Relations Management Software. You can do that. There's many, many different options. Constant Contact, Active Campaign, MailChimp, all those ones work. They all give you the opportunity to create lead magnets that you can have people come into your world from social media and give them some of these resources in exchange for their contact information. All you gotta do is get it going or have somebody help you, like ourselves, or you can hire anybody you want to start helping you create some of these resources. For example, any of you guys scan the QR code already? All right, so when you scan the QR code, you're gonna land on a page that looks like that, right? So it's gonna ask for your name, your email, and your phone number. As simple as that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, and you can do it in less than 15 minutes. You can have a little page like this created that allows you to get people into your world, and you can deliver whatever value they came to download uh, right away. So this is ManyChat over right here. So any of you guys want to get access. This is not what the training is today, something that we can do another day. If you guys want to do a mini course inside Messenger, anybody wants to do a mini course on what ManyChat is? All right. Okay. If you guys want to go to this link, just save it, manuelsuarez.com forward slash messenger. You're going to get an idea on how a mini course can be delivered as a lead magnet. There's a series of videos there that I'm going to deliver to you and I'm going to guide you by the hand so you can understand the world of ManyChat to use as a lead generation platform. Remember, social media is not enough. You have to be able to build an audience, but if you don't figure out how to bring people into your world, you're not going to be able to scale your business. So you need a platform to complement your social media strategies. It is a system. As you guys know, a system does not work if one of the elements of that system is broken. You got to have all the elements in place. So I understand that some of you guys might be like, your head is like moving around and you're like, oh my God, this is so much. But hey, you came to a marketing workshop from a top marketing agency. You can expect that there's going to be some things that you have to break through in order to accomplish success. It's not overnight success. You got to build these things out. You'll be surprised how simple they are if you take one step at a time. Just do one thing, get it going, move on to the next one, get it going, and you can start moving forward. So um, I'm not going to go into this right now, but I'm showing you on these slides over here, how do you create a campaign to bring people into your world? This is the Facebook meta suite. You can create a campaign, select messages. This is basically how you create a campaign on Facebook and Instagram to bring people into your world. Select messages. You select your budget. What are you trying to accomplish? You select what page you're going after what your targeting is, what your audience is, you put your messaging, and then you start seeing how that ad starts forming. And it has a send message button, for example. When somebody clicks on that send message, uh, I'm gonna be able to bring that person in. If you guys go to the mini course that I just mentioned, you're gonna see how I get your information before I give you access to my value. I'm gonna ask for your phone number, and I'm gonna ask for your email. And if you don't give it to me, I apologize, I'm not giving you my value. This is an exchange, this is a barter. I want your information, you get my value. That's the deal that we have in place. 
Okay, so you create a campaign and now you have a campaign and now you're running and you can see here how it, cro how it runs across the world of Meta. I'm still getting used to calling it Meta. Facebook feeds, Instagram feed, Facebook video feeds, Instagram explore, and so on and so on. It is a massive world of attention out there. And we can press a few buttons and we can reach every single one of them. These are examples of my ads. Simple images. You guys can create these images yourself using a platform like Canva.com. If any of you guys are uh, into the adventure of figuring out things on your own, you go to Canva.com and you can create simple images like that. Grab a picture of yourself and put something like that that's attractive. Building your business with Facebook ads, free mini course. Simple, right? Somebody clicks on that, send message, I got an identity and I can sell them stuffing, right? So you can go to Canva.com, you can hire us, or you can go to a place like um, onlinejobs.ph, or you can go Fiverr. to, what's that? Fiverr. Fiverr, F-I-V as in Victor, E-R-R.com, and you can try to look for somebody that's going to help you create these things. You can tell them what you want and it's gonna cost you five or ten dollars, all right, to create some of these things. All you gotta do is have copy, an image, a call to action, and off you go. You can now start reaching the world. I don't wanna make your head explode, mm -hmm. but on ManyChat, you become an architect, and you can create things like this that are conversations automated if you guys are trying to get a lot of prospects that brings them in and says welcome to the course I'm gonna give you some value and once they're done with that particular value and they get that I always 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 have an offer in place example as soon as you guys download the resource if you scan that QR code and you enter your information you guys are gonna get invited to book an appointment with a marketing consultant I always take advantage of the opportunity to present the next level of engagement with me I give them the resource, I give them the mini course, I give them whatever offer I offered, and then I say, hey, by the way, you will be receiving your free guide to the YouTube checklist. If you would like additional help from the AGM team, it's a soft call to action. We have another free offer for you. Here's a video that I explain what you're gonna get, and you can say, and I say, book your free ninja marketing brainstorming session today, and now we have a calendar embedded so the guys over here, the sales team, raise your hand if you're a sales guy, all right, somebody's over here, all right, they actually are going to talk to you guys to find out how they can help you with your business. And it's actually valuable because these guys are marketing experts. So they're going to guide you as to your next step. Something that we never do. We don't take money from people that we don't believe we can help. We're only going to take your money gladly if we feel we can give you value. So these guys are going to talk to you and they're going to find out what your next step is. And based on that, they put you on that particular journey right there. Sometimes it's going to be like free services, uh, free uh, training. Sometimes that's going to be like uh, some basic social media setup. Sometimes it's going to be like marketing takeovers, depending on where you're at. So we always give them that opportunity right there. And then last but not least, we nurture people. Because you got to keep in mind that when you give people a resource, when you give them some value, most of these guys are not going to buy your stuff on that first contact. What did I say about uh, repetition of that message? How many times? How many times? Seven times before they start trusting you, right? So you got to put yourself in front of them consistently through email, through text messaging, through communication, through phone calls, through constant contact to these people so they can actually eventually trust you and they can say, you know what? it's time for us to give these guys some money, all right? Some of you guys here have actually given us money. Some of you guys on the stream have trusted us enough to give, you, give us money along the way because we have positioned your, ourselves as authorities in this particular subject. So you want to continuously provide value to these guys. So for example, I'm almost done, guys. Email number one introduces who you are and what you do. Simple. When they come in, they give you your email, they give you their email, inf their private information, it's something very sacred. You want to let them know who you are. Number two, next day, how you've helped people in the past. Case studies, for example. How somebody was able to solve their problem with your help. Number three, send them some of your best content, blogs, YouTube, etc. Introduce them to your world of value, of superpower. Number four, what are your FAQs? What are, you, what are the things that you actually consistently get asked by your existing clients? Number five, Offer to book a call or send them a coupon to use in the store if you're an e-commerce brand. Number six, follow me on social media and so on and so on and so on. So you continuously provide that value. Anybody here on my email list? Raise your hand. Okay. We do this every single day we send you something. 
and it's not a hard sell. It's not a pitch. It's consistently giving you value. As you see that value, we, our hope is that when you're ready, you're not going to think about any other marketing company but us and come and get our help. That's the idea, all right? Because we will gladly take your money. Mike, would you gladly take their money if you can help them? Oh, yeah, we can help. Mike, Mike can take your money, all right? So again, a uh, sim simple uh, uh, process of following up, for example, SMS, text messaging uh, gets opened at 95% versus emails that get open at 20% at best case scenario. So you can't just get emails because if you bring 100 prospects and you don't ask for the phone number, 80 of them might potentially never even hear from you again. That's just the way it is, especially now that there's all these privacy changes. So you're gonna go into a spam folder of a lot of these people. If you acquire their phone number, now they're gonna see your messages at 95% rates. So you have to do whatever you do to get phone numbers also along the way. So we send them, welcome, to their, to, to, uh, welcome them to our business. Invite to check a case study, simple messages. Let them know about the content. Find out how we can help and what they can expect. Links to FAQs, offer to book a call, link to follow on social media. Similar concepts through text messaging and 90% open rates. This is where, for example, right here, Charlie. He's one of our marketing consultants. He, when he gets a phone number, he consistently follows up with people because people also like the human touch. If you only automate, you're going to be able to, you're going to lose a lot of these people. They want to hear that there's an actual human being there ready to help you uh, with whatever it is that your superpower is. All right? So this is, for example, Charlie saying, hey, Ricky, this is Charlie from AGM Marketing, Manuel's company. It has been some time since we last spoke. I just wanted to reach out to you and see how we can help you. We're looking to take on a few new businesses to really help them scale their sales in 2022. Let's schedule a good time to speak. Here's my calendar right here. Simple as that. Consistent follow-up. I, I, I like to use uh, a line, a phrase that I made up. I made up. actually never seen anybody use it. People either block you or they buy from you. All right? <laughs> If you believe in your business, you're going to hit them hard until they either block you or buy from you. If you don't have that attitude, you don't have the right business. You got to know that people need to be followed up and they have to be followed up aggressively until they either say, you know what, I don't want you. The phone number is going to be blocked or they say, I think it's about time that I get some help. That's the right attitude that you need to have with your prospects because it doesn't happen overnight. When that happens, you get people to start believing in you. They trust you. They open up their wallets, and they become your brand ambassadors. And we got endless people that have benefited from AGM services over the years. Since so starting with AGM, I have experienced a very pleasant professional experience. The Amazon team have been amazing to work with, and the results are great. The content create reaction is first class. Uh, the customer service is great. Any questions I have are always answered quickly. You, you easily know that this is not pirated or made up because it has a few typos. All right, so Julie Dean, the agent team has been very clear in the proposals, presentations, and overall work. Loran, Dan, John, and Mary have all been wonderful. Always a pleasure hopping on our weekly Zoom calls to drive further into our company goals. They did a great job on our Shopify side, and so on. Mr. Jay Kami, hired AGM to help my Amazon business, and so on, right? You get a lot of people talking about you and bragging about who you are and what you've done and what you've accomplished for them because you're really good at what you do. In the end, if you guys are not giving value, then you're going to eventually go out of business, right? So if you really have a service that makes somebody else better, you're doing the right thing by in incorporating this particular process right here. All right. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. Who's having their, their head twist a little bit and then needs a Tylenol, right? <laughs> okay, great. So again, if you guys need to re-watch this, you can re-watch it. The main thing that you can do is download this thing right here so we can start having the same attitude with you. Again, we're going to go after you until you either block us <laughs> or you buy from us, all right? So this is a strategy in place. Very simple. The good thing is that your conscience can be clear because it's very easy for you to block somebody that you don't want to get communication from anymore. My goal is to give you so much value that you have to think about it very hard before you say, block this dude right here. I want to keep on giving you value. So anybody on the stream, if you guys want to download this, uh, this particular PDF, which is a nine-step formula for success on social media and the content creation cheat sheet, you got to go to agmagency.com forward slash nine steps. Or those of you guys that are high tech and you love the new technology, scan this QR code right here mm -hmm. and you're going to go straight into that and you're going to get access to this thing, print it out and use it because it's going to be the game changer if you apply one of these things one step at a time.
anybody that's ready to talk to a marketing consultant, like some of our ninja marketers right here, you can book a, you can, you can book a free marketing consultant with them, consultation. All you gotta do is go to agmninjas.com or after you download your PDF, it's gonna give you an opportunity, like I showed you guys, to book an appointment, to talk to one of these guys for free, no commitments, no strings attached. Go to agmninjas.com or you can go and download this particular magnet right here, lead magnet, agmninjas.com forward slash nine steps, and you're gonna get a chance to book an appointment with one of our guys right here. All right, so let me see, how bad did I do? I did really bad. 90 minutes overdue. Sorry about that, guys. I always like to respect your time as best as possible. Did you guys get value today? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, anybody has any questions? We can do five minutes of questions. Anybody has any questions? Okay, microphone. Who has it? M microphone coming up. Uh, what, what would you recommend to someone who wants to advertise as a life coach? As a life coach? Mm -hmm. You follow this exact same formula. This exact same formula. Mm -hmm. you, step number one, you start figuring out what your life coaching is going to be all about. And you make a list of subjects. Like I have, a, for example, here. Um, let me see if I can share with you guys all right here. I have a never-ending um, stream of ideas to talk about on, um, on social media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to share over here so you guys can see. So this is my, my notes. And whenever I have something that I want to teach, I just write it in there. I started doing this back in 2017, actually. Uh, for example, I want to talk about dynamic ads. Actually, I realize I can do this more big screen right here. Dynamic ads on Facebook. You know, have you guys ever gone to Amazon and start seeing a purse and then leave Amazon and for some reason, magically, it's like meant to be that purse follows you on Facebook? Yeah. You guys ever seen that? Yeah. Okay, that's dynamic ads, all right? It's great for e-commerce brands. Absolutely powerful because it's actually like magic. So I have a subject to talk about. I want to talk about um, uh, conversion events. I want to talk about how to find competitors. I want to talk about Facebook analytics. I want to talk about growth hacks, how to use the messenger card to get more people to, to find us. QR codes for Amazon. I'm going to start getting your heads all like going crazy over here. But this is a never ending stream of content ideas. If you are a life coach, you have a lot of value to give to the world. You got to put together subjects that you can teach in five, eight minutes in length. And you start posting that content everywhere across the world of the internet. And then you start doing this exact same formula because you grab some of that content and you put some money behind it so you can help other people. Here's the thing. You got to have the correct attitude. The attitude is not that you want to make money. The attitude is that you want to help people. Money is going to follow if that attitude is correct, if you have the right attitude in place. So you want to help people with your life coaching. So your content has to revolve around life coaching and the individual five, six, seven, eight minute clips that you can do to teach people about the different things. And you start doing that and you give some value and hey, one person is better than zero persons. So if somebody watches your content today and he's the only person but you made him better, you're on track to building your business as a life coach. So you get that going and then you start grabbing a little bit of your money. If you have a nine to five job, you put a little budget aside. If you're making 500 bucks a week, if you really want to grow this, grab 40 bucks and put it on the side and start advertising your live coaching and do that 6 to 11 o'clock at night. And as you start building audiences of people, it eventually snowballs. Obviously, money is going to help you get there faster, but money should not be an excuse for you to not do it because we all could do a little bit. I mean, you guys are spending money on stupid little things that if you stop spending, you're going to have some money to advertise. We all spend $4 frappuccinos, $7 coffees, and, and stuff like that. And we actually stop doing that. We can get a little bit of that money and put it towards making people better. That's basically the road. So it, it's applicable. You, if you are really good at what you do, you can be another Dr. Berg, another Frank Suarez, another myself, just teaching people how to do better in life. Of course, you got to be good at life because a life coach that is actually struggling life, I don't want to get coached by, all right? Like somebody teaching me about how to make money and they're broke themselves, 
I don't want that. Like, if you guys want to learn from somebody, make sure that you're learning from somebody that is actually succeeding themselves. That's why I want to be a life coach. That's right. So I myself, I have a brand that I built, and it's a combination of e-commerce and service, and we did a lot of revenue. We're in the middle nine figures at this point, middle eight figures, I'm sorry, middle eight figures uh, that we did last year in revenue. I have evidence that what I do is successful. So if you guys listen to me, you should be able to actually walk a similar line yourself. But if I didn't have that brand, who the heck am I? This guy in a basement that doesn't really know what he's doing? So there's a lot of that in social media, actually. A lot of fake preneurs that are renting vehicles and private jets and things like that, pretending to be special. The difference is, if you become real and you really are successful and you have real value, you can succeed in that particular environment, all right, yourself, longer term, okay? Anybody else? Can you, do you work with people who are starting Amazon businesses from scratch? We, if you want to start a business from scratch, the, I'm, just, I'm just saying like an Amazon, an Amazon business. business. Yeah. If you have no budget, then we're going to have to get the, the training, the training for free from us. If you have a, a budget to invest, we can service you, right? And we can help you. There's a, our, our basic, basic service, which is the most affordable one, is a 12-month marketing program. Um, we have clients that pay us tens of thousands of dollars a month. Most people are not at that level, but we have a basic, basic service called the AGM Ninja Lab, in which you pay a few thousand dollars a month. What's and the name again? It's called the AGM Ninja Lab. And if you go to agmninjalab.com, is mm -hmm. that the right website? I think so. Jorge is going to check. Uh, you can actually book an appointment with one of these guys, like Charlie or like Mike, any of these guys, and they'll tell you about what this program is. But it's a 12-month marketing program, which is a marketing done with you. We take you by the hand, and we give you a lot of our manpower, and we help you implement the strategies that we've done here successfully over the last few years. So we created that program because we understood that most businesses starting off did not have five, eight thousand, ten thousand, or more monthly budget to be able to give us that money. And we had created a package that was a lot more like, instead of done for you, our, our main services here are done for you marketing services. We become your marketing department. We do everything for you, from creating the ads, to running them, to creating the content, to managing the community, all of it. We do it all for you. We are your arm. But the people that cannot afford that service, which is a lot of us, we have a marketing done with you program in which you work with me. We we'll give you strategy session. We we'll give you direction. You work with Jorge over here. We have bi-weekly calls. You got access to our team of like the content creator teams. You get some pieces of content put together for you. We build ads with you, but we are helping you get all of it set up. And our goal is that you become so successful at it and you start doing so well that at some point you're going to be like, you know what? I just want to focus on what I'm really good at. I want to have you guys take over the marketing for me completely, and I'm gonna pay you more money now so you guys can do all of it for, you, for, for, for me, and I'm gonna work on scaling my business, hiring more staff, creating more content, formulating more products, doing more services, and you do that. For example, Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg doesn't do any marketing. We are the ones doing it for him. Natural Slim does not do any marketing. We are the marketing department for them, but they pay us a lot more money. It didn't start like that. A long time ago, before we actually started scaling Natural Slim to where it's at, we had an in-house marketing team. It was called Manuel Suarez. I would do everything myself. And that's the origin of the AGM agency because I became really good in the subject of marketing for Natural Slim. And as we, as we years pa passed by, my own father told me, everybody's asking me what we're doing, Manuel. I need, you, I need you to come up with a marketing service. Let's come up with an agency. And he's the one that gave me the idea to build a service because I was successful with Natural Slim. And we became a marketing agency that takes over marketing organizations in general. But we do have a service, again, the AGM Ninja Lab. If you guys are not aware, we call ourselves the ninjas because the ninja, we actually just launched a video today that explains why ninjas, a real sword, all right? Yeah. Don't get close to me because I use it on my staff every day, at least once a day, depending on who doesn't perform. Um, but we call ourselves ninja because we're, I believe, a ninja is somebody that's really good in their art. 
like in a different meaning, right, or what a ninja is. And back in the day, I used to hear one of my mentors saying, oh my God, that's so ninja, that is so ninja, that is stuck with me. <laughs> so my branding became the marketing ninja. And if you guys can see across the wall behind Jorge, you're gonna see ninjas floating everywhere on this building. They're all over the place, ninjas are everywhere because we are really good in the process of capturing attention. We're ninjas in that area. So we have a process called, a service called AGM Ninja Lab in which we make you experts in the subject of marketing. We help you build your own team while we actually take you by the hand for our 12 months. It's very affordable. And at some point, hopefully later on those 12 months, you say, I'm ready to have you guys fully take over my marketing and we're going to sell you a, a more expensive service so we can actually do a full takeover for your business. And that's basically how it works. Have you ever worked with filmmakers in the film? I, I mean, I, I, Bob and I work in the film industry. I mean, he does audio work, but I, I do more of like film production. There's a service for you and that's called Social Media Setups and Launching Pad. And that's what's applicable for you guys. It's an introductory service to help you guys set up across all these platforms. And we, we do a lot of work with you so we can get you fully set up and you can start rolling yourselves. And then we keep on staying connected with you guys. It's the basic introductory service. And from there, you can decide to be a part of our marketing service continuity. So we, we have done that before. We have artists, um, again, Nancy Cartwright, who's uh, the voice of Bart Simpson. She has a nonprofit organization called No More About Drugs. And it's all about content. Uh, it's all about creating awareness for a problem of psychotropic drugs and uh, the use of, uh, uh, of these medications that are being prescribed so we can actually get awareness on that area, all right? So, so we, we have worked with similar brands. It's all about attention. The name of the game is attention. Whether you're an artist, you're a business owner, you need leads, you need products to sell. If you get attention, you can thrive. If you don't get attention, you succumb. That's as simple as that, right? It's the key to to the expansion of any message that you have out there, all right? All right, guys, so let's do a quick selfie before you go, all right? Let me get over here. Coach? In front of you. You gotta get uh, in the picture, though. No, no, I'm getting content. <laughs> all right. Get in the picture, Coach. There you go. All right, so what do you guys think about the workshop? What do you guys think about the workshop? Let us know. Yeah, yeah. should everybody come to the AGM Ninja workshops? Yes. Yeah. Come to the next should, one. Should we be charging for these workshops? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're thinking, no, maybe don't, don't charge, right? Anyways, come to the next AGM Ninja workshop, all right? See you then. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here, for coming.